Hello and welcome to the FSX Talk channel. Today we'll be reviewing the Grumman X-29. Our flight test today will be conducted at Nellis Air Force Base. Let's fly. Okay, here we are in the cockpit. Let's check around. Look. Let's put on the parking brakes. Alright, let's check around the cockpit. Um... Well, this is very photorealistic, I guess. This looks like a picture UV mapped onto a panel. So far, I don't see... Well, I can't really tell if these gauges are accurate, but... As for working gauges, I don't think so. I don't think these work. Let's zoom out, so we can get the full picture. Wow, okay. This was this cockpit was very badly UV mapped onto this panel. Stop! Let's check and see what the outside looks like. Oh, and here it is. The Grumman X29. Ah, look at these canards. Did I mention that I love planes with canards? Up and down. Oh, so it seems that the ailerons also move. Check this out. For giving elevator input. Rudder. Left. And right. Okay, so the canards don't move for the left and right, but they only move for the up and down. Not bad. Sink rate. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Sink rate. Pull up. Sink rate. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up.
Sync rate. Pull up. Pull up. Too low. Terrain. Altitude. Altitude. Too okay, terrain. after all of my banking and yanking, terrain. I'm finally about 200 Sync knots. Rate. Let's see something. Let's go back to the very last spot view. Ah, okay, so it does have speed brakes. These are what the power is called Dockerons. Let's head back to Nellis. Don't think. Pull up. Before we head back to Nellis, let's check out if this aircraft has checklists and references, its ATC availability, and let's check out if it has an autopilot and check out the 2D panel. So first, ATC availability. Uh, sure. Experimental, Experimental is type. Mm -mm. So we did not have a manufacturer call out, nor did it say that it's a type uh, X29. Let's check out any of the other panels. Shift 1, Shift 2, GPS, Shift 3, Radio, Shift 4, okay there's no Shift 4. Shift 1 was X29, oh, this was the X29 panel, so I'm guessing 4. So I'm in the cockpit view and there's no 2D panel, but I have to press Shift 1 and here it is. So that's strange. And for here, now the gauges work. We have what's this? A angle of attack. Okay, we have attitude indicator. This radio alt radio altimeter. I always love aircraft with radio altimeters. Speed. G meter. Fuel, alt, barometric altimeter, mm, clock. I don't know that. Yet. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's the clock. Too low. Right, so terrain. I'm guessing it has. Too low. Terrain. Sync rate. Pull up. Whoop. Okay, so it does have an autopilot. I would not be using that anymore. Back to the virtual cockpit. And let's make our approach into Nellis Air Force Base. Yep. Oh, I, I almost forgot to check our oh, checklist and references. Checklist. No flight checklist, no references. Not surprised there. And we're just cruising at idle. 260, 258 knots, 57, 56 knots. And we're just cruising. I haven't deployed any of my speed brakes or my flaps as yet. I'm gonna wait until we're under 200 to deploy the gear.
Okay, so I'm guessing we're landing on this left runway here. Gear. I should have put on flaps. I'm gonna do that now. Flaps, 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 flaps. No idea what Pull my final landing speed is. Pull up. Sink rate. On the center line. Ah, oh, close enough. Let's check out the last 60 seconds of that flight for an instant replay. <laughs> okay, so it does have to reverse thrust. That was unexpected. Instant replay. 60 seconds. Hmm, that was a three point landing. I'm not too proud of that. Let's check out our UI usability. Aircraft, select aircraft. Alright, here it is, the Grumman X29, check on their aircraft manufacturer, Grumman, there it is, on their publisher, unknown, oh, there's no publisher, aircraft type, this is a single engine jet, nope, nothing on the single engine jet, let's check legacy, ah, it isn't on the legacy. That's strange. Where could it be? Experimental. Nope. 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 Mil military special. Well, that's the first. Alright. Now for our final score. The cockpit was a fail. A photo was wrapped onto the cockpit model and none of the gauges work. 3 points for accuracy. 0 points for working gauge. 2 points for autopilot and 8 points for the 2D cockpit. This model was fairly accurate. I can't tell if the real aircraft also has speed brakes, but that control surface on the FSS model should be an elevator. Also, the canards don't deflect as much as they do on the real model. 6 points for accurate control surfaces and, s and animations. Realistic textures get 6 because the D in the word DARPA looks like an O. And we could use some more grunge. The flight characteristics were somewhat decent on this aircraft. The aircraft is very stable, but not as maneuverable as the default FA-80. This aircraft does not stall. At 90 to 80 knots, it just knows it's over without a stall warning and can be recovered at 195 knots. One downside to this aircraft's flight characteristics is that it defaults to a nose down attitude as if it's super nose heavy. I can correct with this with some up trim, but there is no trim indicator to tell me how much up trim I give. During ATC interaction, the aircraft identified itself as experimental, with no manufacturer or type. 3 points for this entire section. 0 points for checklists and references because none were present. For UI usability, 2 points for having a thumbnail, manufacturer, aircraft type, and aircraft details. 0 points for not having the publisher listed. Here is a combined score for the Grumman X29 by an unknown publisher. The physical model of this aircraft was interesting and that's about it. I doubt I'll be keeping this aircraft after I'm done with the review. 
And that was the review of the Grumman X29. Do you think I judged it harshly? Do you think I should have included something else in the video? Let me know in the comment section down below. Aircraft review and editing tips are also welcome in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.